Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we are adding a bit of tool storage to the back of the Jeep. Now it doesn't have to be actual tool tools um, like we've got here like our spanners and stuff like that. It can be used for those but it can also be used for cooking utensils as well. Because what we'll be doing is adding storage on the back of the drop down tailgate table. Now, as I said it can be used for anything. Um, but all we'll be using, this is really simple guys and it's really cheap. So under 10 bucks where you can, for more money you can add more storage you want. Um, obviously you are a bit limited um, and if you don't have a wooden tailgate table or a tailgate table on your Jeep I'll also show you another way that you can also add the storage as well so don't feel left out guys so all we'll be using today is broom storages so a lot of people use these in their garages or their sheds to actually hold brooms like these um, spread apart you can actually slide anything in there um, and then it clamps it down tight so it's got two holes on the back side to actually screw it down to a tailgate table. Um, now these come in a two pack from Bunnings and they're about $4.50 uh, for a two pack. So I got two packs, I got $9 um, and I had a spare one from the shed lying around. So I was like, well, why don't we actually utilize these? Because I was actually looking online, um, looking through uh, different things to use, uh, different ways to store my tools and stuff like that. And everything, everything was, wasn't quite what I wanted and it was a little bit more expensive than what I was willing to pay for something that I didn't necessarily need but I always wanted. I wanted something to uh, store my ratchets. Um, I still haven't found a way to store all my sockets so if you guys got an idea for that please let me know, know in the comments below but all I want to do is store my ratchets, I need a place to store my sockets, uh, store my breaker bar and I'll also be store, storing um, a couple cooking utensils for the camp for camping as well. Uh, we've got a few things there that we're going to set up. So it's really straightforward, guys. I'll set you guys up with a tripod, um, and we'll give you guys a better look at how we're doing it. And then you guys can kind of um, space it out how you want. Um, and it also kind of depends on what you're stirring. Obviously, the breaker bar is going to be uh, slightly different. I might use two, kind of put it sideways. Um, but it's kind of how you guys want to get it set up. So I'll chuck you guys on the tr tripod, um, and I'll set up the way I kind of want it. And you guys, we can go from there, eh? All right, so my idea for stirring these, I want to leave enough room for the uh, beer holder and enough room for the wine glass. So I want to kind of utilize this area and this bottom section here as well. Also, I wouldn't mind adding a bottle opener um, here as well. I always find that when I'm out and about, I always either forget it. Um, we've got two at home, but I should probably just leave one in the Jeep, but I wouldn't mind installing one as well somewhere. So, what do I do with the... I've lost the first one I had. All right, so get these out of the packet. As I said, they come in a uh, two pack. Also comes with stuff you can actually use in the shed. Obviously these screws are going to be a bit long for going into the wood of the tailgate table. So we've just got our own screws. Uh, now, it can vary. Now, as I said before, if you guys are, well, don't actually have a wooden table or a table to be able to connect these two, what you can do is actually use a magnetic strip. So it's self-adhesive on one side and then magnetic on the opposite side. So what you can do is just peel it off, attach it to the back side of one of these, and then it can actually fix um, straight to the table, well, the actual tailgate itself without actually needing a table. So that's another option if you guys don't actually have a table or whatever, you guys want to run these in a different spot, it's up to you. So what I'll probably do is put the first one Yeah. Now I think one or two screws will probably be perfect for something like that. So if we zoom in a little bit, so what that does is that actually spreads. Yeah. I might actually put one second one in there. Yes. Yeah. Make sure it's nice and straight. So you can get your ratchet um, and that actually spreads open like that and it can just sit there. Obviously it won't have the extension on it and it just pops out. Super simple. Like that. So that's the first one done. We'll probably end up um, installing the yeah. other... Two. So I want a ratchet there then I also want the breaker bar in a convenient spot as well. So probably put there. 
All right, with the second one for the breaker bar, I think I'll probably position it there. If we can, can I keep it in line? That'd be good. So you got one there, and we'll just attach. To get the perfect uh, measurements of it, what I'll do is actually attach that on first. Hang on. You're right. So attach that on first to the breaker bar, and it'll give us a defined section of where to put that. So I probably want it there. So what I'll do, that was actually silly guys, I don't know why I did that. Did like that. Sometimes I do stuff not right, other times I do stuff fantastic. So I just make a small line there where I want it. That way I can get my marking. Got my mark in there. That's pretty much it. We got our breaker bar like that. Look at that. Super easy, straightforward. Um, and then with the other ones, you can. And then you can kind of just position everything else as you see fit. Now it can vary on what you want, where you want it, what you're actually carrying, um, and all that sort of stuff. So it kind of just depends. Um, but we'll probably add a socket. There, so we've got our extension. They can sit like that, um, and then We'll grab our last one. So I'll probably end up buying a few more of these because these are really handy to have um, around. Um, and probably put another one next to that. But if you, guys, if you have any ideas, oh, that screw's far too long. Have you guys got any ideas how I can actually store the actual sockets? Can you please let me know? I don't have a way to do it mm. as of yet. Um, but I really like something that's easy. Um, easier to detach. Um, I know you might be able to get some sort of clip system, sort of like these, uh, that the sockets can kind of just clip into, clip out of. And the last one in there. And as you said, as I said before, you can have your cocky Obviously that's not going to sit like that because it's going to hit past, but um, you can always take something like that out and install uh, cooking utensils, whatever you want in its place. You don't necessarily have to use it for tools, you don't have to use it for cooking, you can use it for whatever you want. But that's pretty much it for today guys, if you like this video smash that like button if you guys uh, what to use these on your Jeep or your four-wheel drive, no matter what it is. Um, I will leave a link to the budding stuff down below if you guys want to check that out. They're about $4.50 for a two-pack, so under $10 uh, for four. If you guys want to use more, obviously it's going to cost more. But if you guys have got different ideas uh, for the sockets, please let me know in the comments below. Other than that, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.